For you, and you, and you. What are these? These, madam, are STDs. What are you talking about, buddy? STDs. Save the dates for Vivian and my wedding. Ah, yes. Hey, just out of curiosity, how many people have you given STDs to? Lots. Like a hundred. <laughs> <laughs> What's going on? Uh, oh, okay, I get it. STD has another meaning. That. You're gross. No one else is gonna think that. Everyone is going to think that, but it's sweet that your mind didn't go there. Thank you. It is kind of sweet. Will your first dance be to You Give Me Fever? Will you be serving crabs at the reception? Do you have herpes? Guys, this is my wedding. This is important to me. No more jokes. You're right, and we're sorry. Yes. We love you, buddy. Warts and all. Sorry, I made a rash decision. I was itching to say it. Okay, I'm done. <laughs> I have an STD. So just RSVP or? Yeah, the number's right on there. Great. Thank you. Halloween. <laughs> it's heist time. Thought you could get a head start on heist prep? Good luck. I'm already dressed. Well, I'm also dressed and I made breakfast. Wait, where are my eggs? In my belly. Yeah! Now get a move on. It's heist time. I love Halloween! Cluck, cluck, gobble, gobble! Guess who just came from the PS321 Thanksgiving Parade? Charles, you actually Who's might- Who's Charles? I'm Tommy Gobbler, and I'm stuffed with Thanksgiving happiness! A gobble, gobble! Seriously, Charles. I, I, I warned you, I'm Tommy Gobbler! You silly pilgrim! Okay, Tommy Gobbler. There you go! These are the Davidsons. They want to know what happened to their missing grandmother? I have some deeply tragic news for you. So again, your alibi is a mysterious stranger handed you the gun, made you put your prints on it, robbed the store, and then hid the gun in your underpants. Well, yeah, if you say it like that, it don't sound believable. Oh, hey, Captain, did you get my report on the Finley murder? Oh, uh, yeah, I looked it over. Nice work. Good. Thanks, Dad. Why is everyone staring at me? You just called Captain Holt Dad. You said, thanks, Dad. What? No, I didn't. I said, thanks, man. Do you see me as a father figure, Peralta? No. If anything, I see you as a bother figure, because you're always bothering me. Hey, show your father some respect. I didn't call him Dad. Have a nice weekend, Peralta? Yeah, nothing special. You know, I got a couple You missed Scully's things. birthday. It was kind of a big one. Nobody showed at the party. Guys, guys, guys. We missed Scully's birthday, and it was a big one. I know. I panicked and said I had to go to the vet because my puppy cat got sick. I said I had to take my mom to get birth control pills. That's better than my excuse. I said I had to go to my girl's bat mitzvahs. Squad, we missed Scully's birthday, and it was a big one. I told them I was in Ecuador. I think they bought it. We got to make it up to them. Let's give them cash. Everyone put in $20 each. Yeah. Uh, yes, I'll cover you. Hey, Scully. Huh? We're sorry that we missed your party. Oh, don't worry about it. You, you all had stuff to do. Yes, the capital of Ecuador is Quito. Oh. Anyway, happy birthday from all of us. Thanks, guys. You're, you're the best. Happy, happy birthday, birthday, Scully. Thanks. I can't believe it. The fake birthday worked. You're a genius. We're both geniuses. <laughs> Thumbtack book. That was my thumbtack book. Bottles. Boil. Bullpen. What are you? B -b 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 Bottles. Boil. Bullpen. Bowling. Behold, Brooklyn buddies. Boil. Bullpen. Bottle. Bowling. Beautiful. Be brave, bro. Be brave. Bowl. <laughs> I can't believe they're waxing the floor and we're all stuck in here. I've never seen them do this before. They do it once a month. We've just never been on the night shift. I know, it's like we're being punished. We are for going to Florida. Oh, I don't listen to so much stuff you all say. Well, frankly, I pity the lot of you. You look out there and see a problem. I look out there and see an opportunity. I'm gonna slide on that slippery floor all the way from Holt's office to the elevator. You're gonna do the FBP. That's right, Rosa. I'm doing the full bullpen. Here we go. We can build this thing together. Standing strong forever. No one's gonna stop us now. And if this world runs out of lovers, we'll still have each other. Oh,
Hey there, Boyle. How was your weekend? Well, actually, I got a little sick. Oh, really? Sorry to hear that, man. Yeah, Bullets Over Broadway was on TV. And I came down with a big old Diane Weist infection. <laughs> like yeast? Wait for it. Wait for it. 901, Amy Santiago is officially late for the first time ever. All right, let's do this. Who's got theories? Uh, alarm didn't go off. All three alarms, all with battery backup? Come on, who wants to take this seriously? Ooh, she was taken in her sleep. That's what I'm talking about. Super dark, Boyle, but way more plausible than the Sarge's idiotic alarm clock theory. I bet she tucked herself into bed too tight and got stuck. Maybe she fell into another dimension where she's interesting. It's 9 a.m. Why is no one working? Amy Santiago is a few minutes late, and we're all trying to guess why. I like to play. I'd say she's in line at the bank. This is fun. It is fun, but you're all wrong. She clearly slipped through a subway grate and is having terrible sex with a mole man. There she is, Amy. Where have you been? We've been worried sick. Do you care to explain yourself? I'm just 70 seconds late. It's not a big deal. Don't worry about it. Santiago, you will tell us, and you will tell us now. There was a problem at the bank. Hot damn! Ladies and gentlemen, we are gathered here today to answer an age-old question. Right. What's Amy's deal? Is she single? No, we're dating. Come on. The question is, who here does the best impression of Captain Raymond Holt? You will be judged on voice, body language, and overall lack of flair. Everyone will perform the same scenario. Captain Holt eating a marshmallow for the very first time. Let the Holt off begin. What is this glutinous monstrosity before me? The sugar in this is quite sweet. Ooh! <laughs> That's your Holt impression? I can hear him doing that. Looks like a sticky pillow. I don't care for it. Classical music. <laughs> <laughs> What's going on here? What are you doing? Captain, hey, nothing. Just eating some marshmallows. Care for one? Marshmallow. <laughs> I knew it! Guys, I have a great idea for a prank. Before Holt comes in, I'm gonna put ink on the podium where he puts his hands. I don't think he'll fall for that. I did. How? I haven't even opened this yet. I guess it's unrelated. Captain Holt hates pranks. This is gonna backfire, man. Ugh, fine, I'll tone it down. I'll move his podium a foot to the left. What? He'll be so angry. Okay, five inches. Five? Three? Three. One? One? All right, I'll move it a half inch. Fine, it's your funeral. Oh my God. Worst prank ever, so stupid Holt's not even gonna notice. Good morning. You guys, the, the podium is... <laughs> You're crazy! How did you pull this off? And so concludes this year's Secret Santa drawing. Just a quick reminder of the rules. $48 limit, no perishable items, and no homemade massage coupons, Hitchcock. Fine, then everyone will have to pay full price for them. Oh, Captain, I would like a $40 gift card to any restaurant that serves nachos. I don't have you, Peralta. Not only do I know that you do indeed have me, but I also know who everyone else has. That's not possible. Perhaps not for ordinary men such as yourself, Jeffords, but for the brilliant mind of Detective Jacob Sherlock Peralta, I legally changed my name. It's quite simply elementary. For you see, Amy made a face I only recognize from our bedroom, which means that she has Captain Holt. Charles has Terry. His eyes keep shifting over to him. No, they don't. Terry looked disgusted, which means he has Hitchcock. Rosa didn't draw a name, nor did she put one in. She doesn't want to participate. Never do. Hitchcock moves his mouth when he reads, and he quite clearly said Charles. I did get Charles. Scully has Amy. He's holding his paper name side out. Oh, he's good. And I have Scully, which means Captain Holt has me. I'll be taking that gift card. Daddy loves nachos. Should we draw the names again and leave Jake out? Yeah! yeah. No! Sherlock wants a present! Happy Turkey Day. Yes, right out of the gate. What, what's going on? We're playing Boil Bingo, Thanksgiving edition. Everyone filled out their cards with possible Charles-related scenarios. First to bingo gets 100 bucks. I had Boyle calls it Turkey Day in the center square. Boyle explains that they ate lobsters at the first Thanksgiving. They did. Back in that time, they called lobsters ocean bugs. And I'll just mark it off for you. I think I got the winning card here. Boyle tells us that he played Pocahontas in his third grade play. All the girls were too big. 
This is a fun one. Boyle says gobble, gobble, gobble. Well, now that I know you want me to say that, I'll just say it with two gobbles. Gobble, gobble. Gobble. God, it just, it just sounds right that way. Oh, I don't like this game. Ha! Boyle objects to Boyle bingo. Come on, guys. Boyle says, come on, guys. That's two for Terry. Well, guess what? I can spoil your little game by sitting over here quietly all day and doing nothing. Oh! Ah! Anybody have Boyle falls on the floor? No one? That's a victory. That's a victory for Boyle. Boom. Boyle says boom! Hey, you guys see the dude I brought in today, the drug dealer? 81 years old. I think it's the oldest collar of my entire career. I once arrested a 96-year-old for flashing. I was terrified he'd die in my back seat or flash me. My oldest scholar was 78, but the PCP made her fight like she was 20. What about two 50-year-old twins? Does that count as a 100-year-old? No good. No. You talking oldest bags? 68. That's not that old. Yeah, but I was only 20. 20? Were you even a cop then? No, man. It was before I got into the academy. Charles isn't talking about his oldest arrest. No, yes I, yes I am. Yeah, oldest arrest, 68, like I said. God, you had sex with a 68-year-old when you were in your 20s? You know how it is. When you have a chance to bed an older woman, you... No, that is not an older woman. That's an old woman. That's someone's grandma. She was, actually. That's how I met her. Went oh, to college with her grandson, no. Marvin. Don't, don't <laughs> knock it to your trick. She had a replacement hit with some serious torque. No. It's like having sex with a transformer. That is no one's fantasy. So... Do you recognize any of these men? I was hiding in the bathroom stall, so I didn't see his face, but I heard him. He was singing along to the music at the bar. Do you remember what he was singing? I think it was that song, I Want It That Way. Backstreet Boys, I'm familiar. OK. Number one, could you please sing the opening to I Want It That Way? Really? OK. You are my fire. Number two, keep it going. The one. Desire. Number three. Believe when I say. Number four. I want it that way. Tell me why. Ain't nothing but a heartache. Tell me why. Ain't nothing but a mistake. Now number five. I never want to hear you say. Woo! I want it. Chills, literal chills. It was number five. Number five killed my brother. Oh my God, I forgot about that part.